Welcome to Game Night Tonight. It's another unboxing of another expansion of Villainous. It's the perfectly wretched expansion to Villainous. This one includes three different new characters. You got Pete, the black and white version of Pete. Uh, you got Cruella de Vil, and then Mother Gothel from the Tangled movie. So let's open this guy up and see what we've got. I know that this game is a, it can be a standalone game for two to three players, uh, which is nice. So they have the instructions, of course, which include everything that you need to know to be able to play the game for the first time if you've never played the original game, Villainous. But it tells you everything that you need to know about the different cards, uh, what all the different things mean. So you got the whole entire book of instructions here, but again, it's for a two to three player. Uh, ooh, so as we open it up here, we've got the, the three new uh, realm cards here for the different villains that we're adding into this expansion here. So we've got Cruella de Vil, her locations being the Radcliffe House, the Countryside, the Milk Farm, and the Hell Hall. Ooh, dang. So you got the three different, the four different realms here. Every single character always has four different realms. Some of them are locked, some of them aren't. In this case, she doesn't have a locked one, but you got that. Um, the next one, Mother Gothel. So as you got her, of course, you're gonna have Rapunzel's Tower, the sn uh, the Snuggly Duckling. You know where they you find all the, the the killers and the thieves and stuff. They sing a song with uh, Rapunzel later. You got the forest, and you got Corona, the Kingdom of Corona. Very cool artwork and everything, and all of them coincide with the movies in which these villains are in. Pete, of course, you got Frontier Town, you got the service station, the airport, and Podunk Landing. So if you watched a lot of the original cartoons of Mickey Mouse, Pete is always, he tends to be the villain in all these, these different movies. Uh, different shows and stuff with Mickey Mouse. So you got the, the different artwork for the different towns. They've made them a little bit more updated so they look more 3D and everything, but still great artwork. You got the different locations. And in this game, you have different objectives, which brings us to this next little bit here that is in the game. So we pull it out. We've got, ooh, looks like, so Rapunzel, it looks like she's got a, a separate card here. So at the end of Mother Gothel's turn, move Rapunzel one location towards Corona. If Rapunzel is already at Corona, Mother Gothel loses one trust. When Rapunzel is defeated, move her to Rapunzel's tower. So it looks like she's a permanent character in Mother uh, Mother Gothel's realm is what it's looking like because it's a, this is a harder, a stiffer cardboard card. So it's different from all the other cards it got. So they got that, and then of course you have the three different the three different pamphlets that tell you the objective of each villain and all the different cards that might come up, the things that they have to do. Obviously, I'm, Cruella de Vil is looking for the 101 Dalmatians, so she has different cards that help her to do that, different allies and everything. So you got Cruella de Vil, you got Mother Gothel, and Pete, these are their guides, so it helps you to better know your cards without having ever played the decks before. So you got those three. And of course, you're gonna have the action symbols here so that you know exactly what you're doing on your turn based on what locale you're in because it has all the action symbols and what they do. And on the back of each of these, it has the villain objectives for each of the different villains. So that helps you understand and know what the other players are doing in the game so that you can prevent them from winning so that you can win yourself. Then it brings us to the next thing, which are the cards. I'm not actually gonna open up the packs, um, but each of them has a different fate deck and the, the base deck. But for Mother Gothel, you always have this unique artwork that's on the back of these cards, really, really cool. It always coincides with the movie that they're in and the different parts in the movie. So you have like the lights, you got the tower, you got her cloak, which of course she is always in hiding and everything like that at near the end of the game. Yeah, near the end of the movie, but really cool artwork uh, on the backs of these cards. So you got that from Mother Gothel. You've got Cruella de Vil. You've got the puppies down here, her iconic car and everything that she comes around with. Her purse, her fur purse, and then the crazy hair that she always has. Uh, the very, very distinct hair, two colored and everything, two toned. Really cool. And then for Pete, you got his ship, you got a propeller, you, you just all the different hats and money bags, everything that he wears. So really cool artwork on the backs of these cards. Kind of take a look at those, but also the artwork throughout, throughout all these cards, just really good artwork. Um, really good quality, I love them. Just looking at the, the cards is fun for me. 
Then of course down here you've got the the power tokens and it looks like we've got some new tokens in here. So some of these are like puppy tokens for Cruella de Vil. You got the big fate token or whatever. So it includes everything that you'll need for a three player, two to three player game standalone if you don't actually have the base game of Villainous. So there's that and then of course you have the iconic uh, different, oh, this is so cool. So Pete's got, you, the player pieces themselves are really cool because they, they try and, they tried and did a very good job of like making it look like the character itself without actually having the faces. You got Pete's hat, right? And then you got his overalls button on one side. <laughs> Just really cool artwork, his little feet and everything. So that's Pete. Then you got Cruella de Vil here. You can just tell by the two-tone. You got the black, oh, I can even get this out. Man, it's kind of wedged in there. Yeah, so you got Cruella de Vil. Looks like it's kind of playing off of her big fur coat. And then, of course, you have the two-toned coat and everything. So definitely Cruella de Vil here. Looks really, really cool. And then, finally, you have Mother Gothel, which is the flower. That is awesome. I've actually not seen that one before. Really cool. So you got the flower and everything. So the flower that brings lasting life, which is enlaced in the hair of Rapunzel. So there you have it. You've got all the different characters there. You've got the tokens that you need to be able to play the game, the decks for each of the, the characters within the game. Of course, you got the objective cards here with the action symbols as well as the pamphlets to help you understand what you're doing within the game and how, how to best run your deck to achieve your objective. And that goes in there. And then on top of that, you've, of course, got the player mats, which have the different realms for the different characters that, that we got here. And then, last but not least, you got the instructions here. So that brings us to a close of that box opening of Villainous Perfectly Wretched. Awesome game. Again, standalone two to three player game. You can play it with any of the other expansions or with just the base game but very good game very good artwork very well done uh love these games and the expansions they're just amazing <laughs> gonna be playing this for hours with my family and friends i know that but thanks for tuning in this time of well, for, thanks for tuning in for this episode of game night tonight for the unboxing of villainous perfectly wretched join me on future episodes where i do more unboxing of different games different new games expansions and so on so forth but again thanks for tuning in on this episode of game night tonight